Okay, here we are. I um, am working on a 24 by 36 inch repeat. And the image here, this is a uh, tracing paper that I use to create most of the design in four sections. I started drawing the outside shapes the other day, the pink circles. Um, and then I decided that a good strategy for making extra elements around the parts I need to flesh out would be to work with symbols um, and complete shapes. I hadn't been necessarily making these complete. Like you'll see, that is just a line, but it'll actually work better to layer the objects if I do it the other way and just save all my versions before I outline strokes and divide everything up. Um, and yeah, we'll take a look here. Um, if you double click on a symbol, you can see it and wireframe and edit it. Um, and these are layered strokes right now, a variegated on top of a uniform stroke. Um, so, let me show it, both of them. I'm gonna leave them like that and have one whole um, file version with unoutlined strokes in case I wanna change it at some point and totally change the design. And um, another nifty thing is when you are working with symbols, if you want to kind of repeat a bunch of them and um, have sort of an even mix, say you have 30 symbols at the end, you can select um, each symbol instance and then put them on another layer temporarily. I guess that'd be the way to do it. Or you could just look at the outlines, the edges, and take a note of how many there are. Either way. Um, okay, I'm going to put on some music and speed things up.